My name is Cameron Brown. I'm president of Stark Brothers Nurseries and Orchards. I've been here since uh, 2001. Stark Brothers uh, was here in the turn of the 19th century. It was a decade old when Thomas Jefferson died. James Hart Stark came here when the pioneer spirit was great in America. He started grafting local crab seedlings to get him an orchard going, and pretty soon the neighbors wanted the same trees that he had. A lot of important people are related to the Stark legacy. Uh, the one I think of the most uh, in the design of our, our garden center is Luther Burbank, the uh, Nobel laureate pomologist. In my office, we keep the books around in there. They're fascinating and it helped the company grow. My name's Elmer Kidd. I'm the chief production officer here at Stark Brothers Nurseries and Orchards Company. When you buy a grafted tree, you're buying something with a history and a track record behind it. It blooms at a certain time. When you go out to harvest the fruit, it ripens at a certain time. We think we're more of a specialized organization in that regard. We perpetuate the quality part. We have to raise those right here, so we have a market in the United States of American-grown things that we think are better than what you can get anywhere else in the, on the planet. So with that in mind, we're pushing in the area of international sales uh, right now. We think that there are a lot of of markets uh, internationally that, that we can go to. We have almost seven acres of, of uh, warehouses, almost a three acre greenhouse. About half of it's with nut trees and fruit, and the other is in berries and flowers. Let's say 150 in all, different varieties. The nursery may ship out as many as four or 500,000 orders in a year. My name is Kyle Brown. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer for Stark Brothers Nurseries. We saw the migration from people ordering through the mail to uh, people calling in to place an order to people ordering off the internet. Social media definitely is one of those mediums where that is, that is going to be the wave of the, of the future to interact with customers on, on a personal level. A good deal of what we're doing today is, is to try to develop something that, that educates the public and, uh, and we can use the, the web for that purpose. Because we're several generations removed from everybody having a garden, you know, really our focus is to, to help share our expertise. It's surprising the number of people that would get a tree and they know the roots go in the ground, but once it's in the ground, how do you prune it? Uh, what's the next step to fertilizing and, and doing those sort of things. So education uh, is important. There's a number of products out there that you can find everywhere, but we really enjoy the challenge of finding those unique products, persimmons and pawpaws that people would love to have in their, in their yards. With all the care we put into the product and making it, the way that we store the product and the way we ultimately ship the product to the customers. It's, there's a lot, of, a lot of love and a lot of care that goes into that product before the customers see it. We go to Florida, California, Oregon, Washington. We're shipping all across the United States. If you live in Minnesota or Wisconsin, we have apples for you. And if you're in uh, Zone 9, we have something for you too. We've tried to put something together that gives the entire continent here a, a chance to be a grower. 200 years, how many companies uh, have been in continuous operation that long? Businesses come and businesses go for various reasons. For any company or any organization to say that I've made it 200 years, that's a tribute in itself. I'm proud of that.